Hi, this project started with an uh, icon set that I found, the ultra flat orange icons. And I've written a nice article about it because I actually wanted to tell people, well, that is the great icon set, but there were some icons missing. Since we are on Linux Mint 17.3 Rosa, some of the icons, as you can see here, were missing. So that was the start of my, my journey. And now I have actually uh, a GitHub from of the ultra flat icons and i was working on on the, the the icons changing the colors and this is the normal color here the yellow one and the green one and the blue one or the normal colors and i really like the orange one and then i said maybe maybe i can change this icon the way i would like to have it and i wondered if there would be possibility to have it a little bit gray and I ended up making this here and this is only and the only thing you have to know is uh, some little bit of code and I'm going to make a movie about it how you can make now a step for any SVG from yellow you know let's say orange to this uh, grayish so how do we do it we have an uh, a folder well maybe let's go from from the top from really really the start of everything so you download the zip file okay it's downloaded let's hope so let's open it again right mouse click extract here we have this folder that's now present well it's this one actually cancel voila we're going to move all the folders not move to trash but cut them and move them to icons they're not inside right mouse click paste so these are the icons straight from github actually straight from the person who made them i am guessing it that's it's steph Rikia or Steph Trikia, not sure how I should pronounce it. So I found it somewhere on the GNOME. There are some Dropbox links I found on the internet. So they're not my icons, but I'm going to change them a little bit. I really love them. This, this is um, my own Sardi icon theme. So let's have a look what we can do now, what we can change. It's this icon I should take. I haven't pushed it yet. So that is this one. This is the one I've already created. So I'm making this movie afterwards. So this is the one I was I fell in love with, which I found it was great. It looked great and the menu was great. And I have made some adaptations in the other movie, in the article you saw, backup tool, boot repair. I've made some smile, uh, smaller adjustments to make every icon the ultra flat icon so this is a new one how did it arrive here i take this folder here Control c paste it on the desktop paste 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 here it is paste on the desktop and then you experiment okay let's experiment together so what do you do you go inside places because places are the folders and all the folders are, as you can see, are normally orange. The creator has already experimented with some colors. Say, okay, maybe this blue or that gray, or that gold. So you can re or use the color he chooses or she, I don't know. Um, but I went, of course, to look for my own color. So you open folder, for instance, double click it. Make sure you have Inkscape installed. And this is your Inkscape program. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So this color can be adjusted to your liking by just taking the slider and figuring out hmm, that color, no, that color, etc. In the end, you decide for a color and the color is here. Just forget the last two figures when copy pasting it later on. But this is your color and in the end is the color you want. 
same goes applies for the top so there are two parts there's the one part and top part this, so this is for me the big part and that is for me the small or top part okay so here you decide in Inkscape what color you have one and a half so this is your RGB a but you only need the RGB colors later on so that's that once you've decided on these colors here you have to manually edit every icon no no we're not going to do that close it out saving yes please what we are going to do is open right mouse click open in terminal open in terminal and then and then we are going to look for a code the code is online somewhere where is it you go to the zardi icon set i have changed already a lot of icons the same way so it's practical it's interesting and it's somewhere down here in the orange code here it is so this code should be copied let's try and copy it Control c copy move inside your folder so this terminal should be opened inside the terminal in the inside the folder i mean and then you have this copy paste action but the point is what is this color and what is that color so we're not sure about the colors yet so let's open that here let's open that there let's not open it with inkscape this time let's open it with sublime text in my website Eric Dubois you can see how to install that this is actually the color fill the rectangle rectangular fill it with this color so if we can replace and I'm going to take everything because some of them have fill with um, uh, equals and this is with um, double quote I think it's in English so I don't know what this is but you copy this completely and then you can say let's use this in a terminal but it's maybe it may be easier just to show you guys not straight away in a terminal but first in the this text so this is what i found what i did i said find every name with any name dot svg so find every svg execute replace set replace replace what replace this code which is a color which is orange and replace it with a little bit darker color 5f 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 is grayish dark grayish so this code is the thing that's going to change all our icons we found the colors inside Inkscape this is the orange color and we change it to the color we want the only thing we now have to do is copy this inside our little terminal which must be inside this is not good this is not good I am totally somewhere else uh, here should I be voila right mouse click paste oops let's not do that all right mouse click paste find the name execute etc 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 looks good we are inside our desktop ultra flat icons orange places scalable is inside this one so you should see things happen here on the right when i press enter and that's how you change your icon set the easy way not one by one but let the computer work for you that's my tip that's my uh, tutorial um, take a look around some of them might not I well, might uh, need some adjust adjustment some manual adjustment but we have covered maybe 99% or 95% so it's a great help this little script and um, well have fun and create other icon sets and, and share with the people and love Linux.